All right, I wanted to make a video because everybody asks questions about these and there's really not much info out there. Nobody talks about how to hook them up and that they're not plug and play. Everybody always asks, oh, do they just plug in? No, they do not. Also, if you didn't know, there's at least two different uh, gauge clusters for the 80 to 86 and they take different connectors. There's uh, It has more wires in it for the later ones as far as I know. That could be a tack versus no tack thing as well. So anyway, here it is, uh, Dakota Digital uh, VHX gauges for the 80 to 86 F-Series truck. And here's what's in it and why it's not plug and play and how it's still pretty simple to install. So obviously it comes with the gauge cluster itself. Um, this is actually aluminum. Uh, feels like it's machined out of billet. I was not expecting it, I figured it was plastic. Um, and here's the main thing, is this is your control box. Um, everything comes into here and goes to the cluster using uh, Cat5 cable, I believe. So you can also add on to it uh, with some other modules they have uh, to read other stuff, but it reads it out in the clock, I believe. So it'd just be a small digital readout. I don't know how helpful that's gonna be. Um, you have to use their oil and temp senders, which are here. They come with a couple of harnesses and that'll run to the box. This is all of your plug-in lights for the back. You can see the connectors there for each of your warning lights, which then come into here and are, uh, you know, your high beam, uh, e-brake, all your stuff here. I don't, I have a manual, so I don't need the gear indicator, but you can program it in there somehow. Uh, it does come with this really nifty sender that will plug on to your speedometer cable outlet and convert it to electric. This also runs or can run GPS, which probably what I will do. It will also run, uh, my transmission has the the small electric sender, like say a Fox body or uh, any of the 90s uh, Ford stuff. Obviously it comes with directions. I'm not gonna go over that. It's not an install video. Um, so I will probably do an install video later, but it does have a fair amount of uh, instructions for each thing. There's also a switch here that's used in programming. Uh, my understanding is you can actually program the speedometer to whatever by just hooking up your sender and driving a verified mile, you know, this is how many is per mile and lock it in there and it'll work. And that's one of the main reasons I wanted this was the speedometer functionality, um, fuel sender functionality. You can run pretty much any fuel sender and program it to work. And of course that's all in here. There are some quick guides. All of this stuff is available. If you just look them up, there's PDF. Uh, but like I said, I just wanted to kind of give guys a, an overview and let you see what it is and, uh, you know, maybe answer some questions. Anyway, thank you. See you guys later.